it wasn't just Auckland's port that was in the spotlight today. Plans are apparently on track for light rail in Auckland, with the new government giving the go-ahead to funding its share of the Auckland transport commitments it did make during the election campaign. The confirmation came after the Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern and the Auckland Mayor Phil Goff had their first official meeting at the Beehive this morning. Our political reporter Sarah Robson has more on this. It was a hug, not a handshake, to start this morning's meeting between the two former Labour Party colleagues. The pair had a lot to talk about, light rail to the airport, a regional fuel tax, the future of the port and the handling of the government's house building programme. But the key decision out of today's meeting was Ms Ardern confirming the government will fund its share of the Auckland transport plans Labor announced during the campaign. She says while the government does need to contribute, the Auckland Council needs to play its part and find efficiencies. We've always acknowledged that Auckland uh, should have some skin in the game uh, and that Aucklanders know we have problems we need to resolve. The regional fuel tax allows us to do that and that's a mechanism we've been happy to offer to Council uh, to enable them to deliver these projects. Phil Goff says at the moment there are 800 new cars on Auckland's roads each week, which is unsustainable. I've looked around at different models around the world. It is very clear that Auckland has to have a mass transit system. What we're doing in rail is really good, it'll make a big difference. But we need to have light rail. Mr Goff says a regional fuel tax will bring in between $1.2 and $1.5 billion over a 10-year period. He says that's preferable to the alternatives. We would have to put rates up by probably around 15%, which would be totally unsustainable. Uh, or we would have to introduce a congestion tax, which I think in London at the moment is running at $21 a day, uh, the regional fuel tax is on average probably $2.60 a week for the average motorist. Light rail from the CBD to the airport is expected to cost around $2.5 billion. Decisions around how much of that bill the government and council will each foot are still to be made. Mr Goff says the government and council are also committed to looking into targeted rates as another way of raising revenue to pay for infrastructure. Sometimes when the rate power and the taxpayer puts in new infrastructure, it creates a massive uplift in the value of properties uh, and I think in principle it's fair that if you're getting a massive uplift in the value of your property that you make a contribution to the infrastructure that lets that happen. Meanwhile the Labour-led government has also confirmed it will scrap the East-West Motorway Link project in its current form but Ms Ardern says they do need to look at the congestion problems that led to the project being proposed in the first place. Atuiti Fare Paremata, Motehotaka o te Ahi Ahi, Sarah Robson, Aho.